Welcome to this new project where we're going to build a shopping cart or a little shop-like application with Node.js, Express and Handlebars as the templating engine. And of course MongoDB to store all our data. Let's get started. As I already said, I have nothing prepared for this course. So we're going to build it step by step from scratch. So let's start. I will set up a new project by using the Express Generator. And you may just Google for it, Express Generator, and find it on the ExpressJS page. Of course, you may switch to English here. And well, here is a basic explanation of what it is and how it works, but I'll also give you my explanation. It's a little tool which quickly scaffolds out a basic Node.js Express app. It has some sample routes in it, but besides that, no boilerplate code, no annoying code in it. Just some things like starting a server, applying some basic middleware we would use anyway to quickly get started with Express. And to not write all the code lines you would have to write anyway to have a working Express app. So like for example with Laravel, you got create project on Composer to quickly scaffold out a basic Laravel application. Express Generator is the same for Node.js and Express. So make sure to install it and you will find how to do this in this guide on this page here. And well, once you have installed it, you may use it like, well, described here and it's really simple to do. So I will go to my terminal window and navigate into the folder where I want this project to be in. So where I want to set up this project and you should do the same, of course. In this folder, I can use Express, which just executes this Express generator, which was installed globally on the system. And then the name of the folder or of the project and the folder name will be the same. So I will call this shopping cart and I'll add a flag, HBS, to set the default templating engine to handlebars, because I really like handlebars. But if you prefer another templating engine, you're free to choose that, of course. So this scaffolds out this project. And if I now CD into this newly created project, and first I have to install all the dependencies required for this to work correctly by running npm install, so the installation finished here and what did it install? A couple of required third party packages like Express itself, for example, which are of course needed for this application to work correctly. So with this in place, I may now run npm start to start the server. And this is a little script which is provided by Express Generator. But all this does is it runs the, um, the server setup uh, programmatically with Node.js. Now that is an important side note, of course, you need to have Node.js installed on your machine if you haven't already. And in order to do that, you might head over to Node.js.org and download the latest stable version for your operating system. But you probably do already have it. That's, to be honest, why I forgot to explain it. I think you are aware you need Node when looking at a Node.js video. But nonetheless, now that you got it and are ready to go, you should have your server running. And if you now access localhost 3000, port 3000 here with a colon, you should see this express welcome to express page. And this means that everything is working. And that's just one of this, these very basic routes the express generator ships with or the express generator generated for us to well have something to work with and to see that everything works. Now, if you are totally new to Node and have no idea what is going on here, I strongly recommend checking out my basic Node.js videos I have on this channel, where I will explain what Node is, how it works, how a server is created with Node, how a request flows through an Express application and much more. So definitely check this out in case you are having any questions there. Now with this basic project being set up here, it's time to open it in your editor of choice or your editor of, or your IDE of choice. And I will use PHP Storm for this. So here's the project opened in PHP Storm and it's the default Express Node.js project, Express Generator generates for us. And as I just said, I do have videos explaining this structure and how it works on this channel. So check out these videos if you're having any questions about that. I'll also post the links to them in the description. 
Now using handlebars in the views folder, we get this error.hps file, this index.hps file, and the layout.hps file. While the error file is of course called or used when an error has to be rendered to the screen, and I will leave this like this for now. The layout.hps file, if we open it, holds the default HTML skeleton. And this is the file which will be extended by all the other view files if we not specify it otherwise. So by default, other view files will use this basic skeleton and then render their specific content in this body part here. So where we have these three curly braces and then body, this is the hook where the other views will come in and render their content. So for example, this index.hps file here, this is the view. If we have a look in the routes folder in the index.js file here, this is the route we're currently accessing here, by the way, because we may think of having a slash at the end of this URL. And therefore we're reaching this route here, which just handles the root route. And here the index.hps file is rendered. So this file here. And now you can see this file only has a heading and a paragraph, but still it has some styling as it seems. And this is because as I just explained, this content gets rendered instead or in the place where this body hook here is provided. So what we're actually seeing here, this page here, is this complete HTML document here with the style sheet and then the content specified in the view being embedded into this skeleton or into this layout. And this is how layouts work in pretty much all templating engines. And we also have access to this functionality in handlebars. And that's important to know because throughout this application, I will use this basic layout to provide an overarching styling or structure and not to repeat the code many and many times, of course. So with that, I can, for example, change this from outputting some kind of title here. I will come back to that in a second to hello there, save this. And now if I reload the page, you can see this text here. So you can immediately see how you can change your views and how the content gets rendered to the page. Now back to the question what this title thing here is with the double curly braces. Remember in the layout, I had the free curly braces to provide a hook for other views to insert their content. However, I also do have the title with the double curly braces in the overall layout too, like in the index.hps file. This syntax here is used to output a variable passed from Node.js Express to the view to be rendered to the screen because our views, of course, don't stay static. They don't have static content. They output content which is retrieved from the server, which is the result of some calculation or something like this. Therefore, this title actually refers, if we go back to the index.js file responsible for rendering this view, refers to this title variable passed to this view or passed to this render function here. Now this render function basically tells Node or tells Express, hey, please send back a response to the browser containing the HTML code of this index file and .hps is automatically added since Handlebars is set up as the default view engine of this project. But not only send back this HTML code here, but before sending it back, replace all hooks between double curly braces with the appropriate or corresponding data passed as a second argument in this JavaScript object here. So by having a title variable here, we can replace the title variable here with the value this title variable is set to express, for example. And this is why we can here see welcome to express. If we replace express with shopping cart and save this, we won't see any changes because we didn't restart our server. Therefore, the code on the server is still the old one or the code running at least is still the old one. So in order to see changes we make anywhere besides the view files, we have to restart the server. And I will do this by going to the terminal where I entered npm start, and then I hit control C to stop this server. 
Now I could restart it by running npm start here, but I will do this in my IDE here just to have quicker access. This is just a normal terminal window automatically navigated into the shopping cart folder. So here if I run npm start, this also restarts the server. And now if I reload, you can see welcome to shopping cart. So this works too. So that's the view basics here. Next, I want to do some cleanup. I don't need the users JS file because these pre-populated routes are not something I'll use. And in the app.js file, which is the first place each request will come to, I will get rid of this users variable, which was, well, referring to this users JS file I just deleted. And if I scroll down here, you can see that we kind of parse some path and then redirect the request either to this routes variable, which refers to this index.js file in the routes file, or to this users variable, which related to the deleted file, if the path was something like slash users instead of just slash or slash anything else than users. But I won't need that now, so I will get rid of this here. And now I can again close my server by hitting Control C and restart it with npm start. So if I reload, it still works because I didn't change anything we could see here, just some cleanup being done. As a next step, I want to bring Bootstrap in to have some basic styling in this application. Because while I won't create a complete shop or a complete online shop, I will provide a shopping page with the products. I will later provide a user login view, the shopping cart, and for all that I will need styling. And to be able to quickly create a prototype, I will use Bootstrap to have some styling out of the box. So I will head over to getbootstrap.com, click on download Bootstrap, and I won't download it. I will grab the link to the CDN here. And back in the application, I will go to the layout.hps file and enter this file right above the import here, which relates to the style sheet we may edit throughout this application, living in this public folder and then style sheets. So right above this link here, I will add the link to the bootstrap package. And I will also bring in the bootstrap JavaScript here to be able to control modals and something like this, because you never know when we will need this, or for example, for the responsive navigation on mobile phones with collapsing menus and so on. So always handy to have this here. We could always delete it in case we don't need it later on. But as I said, I want to be able to quickly create some prototypes here. And I will also implement jQuery. Now I will also fetch that from a CDN and I can do this by scrolling down and then here clicking on this code.jQuery.com link. And I will choose version 1.x, 1.12 in my case here, and then a minified version. Just grab this link here and also enter this right above the bootstrap script here at the bottom. So with this, that is prepared. And if I now reload my page, we see that the style changes. I will also go to the style.css file here, the custom style sheet um, Express Generator ships with, and delete all these styles for now. I will later on add styles, but for now I don't want any. So if I again reload, I can see that, well, it changed. It certainly looks worse, but we will fix this in a few seconds.